The town of Bor was calm on Sunday after being seized back from rebels in an attack by government and Ugandan forces on the Flashpoint settlement. Debris was seen streamed through the streets of the town as heavily armed soldiers manned the streets. Uganda, which sent troops to South Sudan to support the government, says it was behind the success at Bor. Meanwhile, the United Nations has condemned Sunday's attempts by the South Sudanese government troops to force their way into a United Nations compound sheltering thousands of civilians after taking war. According to a statement condemning the incident, United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said senior government figures and troops threatened UN staff when they tried to enter the compound. Ban Ki-moon condemned the threats made against UN personnel and demanded that all parties to the conflict respect the sanctity of the United Nations mission in South Sudan's protection sites. Moon further say the incident was just one of a growing number of violations of the UN Accord with the South Sudan government, making it increasingly difficult for UNMIS to implement its mandate, posing a threat for United Nations staff working in South Sudan. Aid groups say up to 10,000 people have been killed in the conflict, which erupted in December, and nearly 500,000 people have been displaced. So far, aid organizations have reached more than 200,000 people, providing food for over 160,000 people in six states and nutrition supplement for hundreds of children. Talks aimed at securing a ceasefire are still ongoing in the Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.